Well guys, just an update. Got the transfer case out. Got us in there. Probably shouldn't have did it by myself because made a big mess. And now I'm covered in trans fluid. But I now have to figure out how to get these torque converter bolts out because I don't know why this one seems to be so difficult, but when I turn the when I turn the torque converter, or when I turn the engine, so I can get the torque converter bolts, they're right next to the block, and I can't get a ratchet in there. Even my snap-on ratchets don't fit. I don't know if I need to put like a wobble extension and bring it out on an angle, because I did a bunch of these before. Never had this issue. So, I guess we'll have to see what goes on there. Because I was hoping I was going to have enough room to slide just to end the trans and the transfer case back. Be able to get my hands up in there and then I realized I don't think two inches would give me enough room to get the flex plate off. And hopefully I can slide the trans back without moving the exhaust or if I have to maybe I can move the whole exhaust back. Because these bolts look fine. I had oiled them earlier. Those look fine to take off. But the one back here, that one right there, is not too bad. But this one, let's see if we can get it from here. That one does not look like it's coming off too easily. And then I'd probably have to drill it out or pound out the stud, whichever way it comes out. Because that stud looks like I might be able to move it. But this one looks totally different, unless that's a bolt. It may be a bolt, and that might be why. It might have broke before. Actually, looking at it, it might be a bolt. So I could just probably cut that off. I might do that. Just cut it right there in the center. And not have to worry about it. But I'll work on this tomorrow. So guys, somehow I managed to actually unscrew the rusty bolt. Or the exhaust. And here's the rear main seal. The trans did slide back enough. But here's the rear main seal. And it definitely looks like it was leaking. The whole back of the block is just soaked. I'm going to try to smoke the engine and see if maybe we can get some, some smoke to come out back here. But I don't know if it will or not. So guys, I'm not seeing any smoke. I did notice that the cam sensor is exposed to the back of the block here. So that could have been leaking. But it doesn't look like it was leaking all over the back of the cover. See around the whole seal is all wet. Part of the problem when people don't bring cars in with an oil leak until they're really, really bad. It's hard to find out where it's coming from. I keep seeing a little bit of smoke all the way up here, but I don't see where it's coming from. Well, guys, I'd say we probably found it. Taking out all these bolts. There's oil just running out everywhere. Same with here. As soon as this moves, just a little bit, oil will just start pouring out. So I have a feeling that's probably what's the issue. Is either this back gasket or the actual seal? 
can see how dark it is back here from all the oil being caked. And now all the smoke from my smoke machine is coming out. Crankshaft doesn't really seem to have much view. Nothing around this. The gasket was like really stuck on this top part. Remain still when you're working on it. I don't know if you can see a lot of it. On here, but it didn't look perfectly a brown half on the side. I could just be an illusion. But like right here, it looks like it comes in a little bit. I also noticed there's a lot of like caked oil. I don't know if maybe that was bad and it just started leaking. This is a national seal as well. It was replaced before. I'm assuming so. Hey guys, I got this Dorman rear main seal kit. I wanted a GM one, but this job I started Friday afternoon, and this is the only thing I could get on a weekend. And I didn't expect to take this long. But they come with the seal already installed. So I don't know how you're supposed to use the alignment tool to center the cover like you're supposed to when they already installed the seal. I got the back of the block cleaned as much as possible. It's actually really, really clean. It may look like oily, but you can see like the cam. It's completely dry. In here it's still oily, but I can't get that off. And I scraped around the outside of the block so that the trans would sit flush and not have any issues. And I cleaned as much RTV off of a seal down here as I could. Maybe I can get a little bit more on this side. I don't even know if I'd be able to get that out. I'll try to. Maybe I can. I'll get a pick so it doesn't fall in the pan. <coughs> but, I guess we'll see how the seal works. If not, maybe Dorman will pay me to redo it. So guys, I got the RTV cleaned out of the corners. Time to put the seal on, and hopefully this thing's fixed. I really hope this doesn't leak. Got all the bolts torqued. Did the bottom two first to 106, then did the other one to 18. I'd also put a really tiny bead of RTV across the back here, because I didn't want it to leak where the pan gasket met this but I really wish I could have used the tool that you put in the cover and it lines the cover up and then you bolt it down and then you put the seal in but guess we'll see I usually try not to put in anything that has the wings or whatever that is but See what happens. Well, guys, I got the flex plate all torqued down. It's all torqued down. It's like three passes, it's like 15, 30, 7, and then 74 foot pounds. Just right, uh, 
mount the trans back up and bolt the torque converter up. So guys, I got the torque converter bolted up, got it all torqued down. So far, so good. Gonna get the covers put back on. I'll spray some brake clean, get, try to get some more of this oil off the side of the block. And then, should be good to go. So guys, I got everything bolted up. I left the access cover off for right now so I can see if anything leaks down now that everything's clean. Everything's torqued. Mm -hmm. I also mm -hmm. cleaned the transfer case. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. It was completely black and now you can actually see it. Got the exhaust all bolted up. I put a new bolt on the other side for them with washers on each side. So that should be good. Hopefully this doesn't leak anything. That drive shaft all torqued. This we'll find out tomorrow because I'm getting ready to leave. Flip the dial. Looks completely dry. Got some smoke coming off the exhaust where the old oil is burning off. That that water is just well that what you see dripping is just water from the air conditioning. It's like 90 degrees out today. But everything looks good. Now I will attach at the end of this video. Um, I checked the transfer case fluid level because it spills some out of it. Decent amount. I took the transfer case out. But when I drained it, there uh, there really wasn't much that came out and what came out was brown and I talked to a friend that owns a tram shop and he said it's supposed to be blue. But this is the OEM. Transfer case is just with blue. So he said that the aftermarket one, some people would overfill them. Because supposedly the oil would vaporize or something and there's a service will said about it. But I've also noticed that in bumper split, all down the side, you can't hear it unless you're right here next to it. So the whole side of the bumper split. I noticed that in the shop when I had it on the lift. But there you go. Maybe I guess this is a confirmed fix. You can even pop the hood and we can act, we can look behind the behind the engine and see if there's anything leaking. Yeah, you, saw, you just replace all the gaskets in the back of the engine and you'll eventually find the one that's leaking. Yeah, even the front here is completely dry now and clean. I think you'll be happy. So if that, if that uh, valley cover wasn't leaking, it was probably, it was seeping enough to like cause it to build up. So there's no other way for all that to get filled up like that. But, See you guys later, hopefully this helps somebody.